Not a lot gets to me, but this paper made me cry a little bit. For people who are alive today, we are rapidly progressing into conditions that we have not seen on Earth for 10 to 40 million years. And that is putting it mildly, because the changes that are occurring today have never been seen on Earth. We're going to live on a planet with no ice at the poles and no rainforests. In case you're not familiar, there is a massive rainforest on this planet called the Amazon rainforest. It is the largest and it modulates global climate. However, the changes that have occurred on Earth in the last hundred years have created conditions that it cannot survive. We are already seeing mass tree die-offs. The climate has been heating faster than the plants can actually tolerate, and if it gets too hot, they can no longer bring water up from the soil. We are, of course, seeing these conditions on a global scale. It's why deserts are the only ecosystem that is expanding. But that rainforest and all forests are needed for more than just modulating our weather. Yes, they are part of the water cycle. They are our world's largest carbon sinks. Now the ocean people like to argue about that with me, but I'm a soil scientist. Beside the point. Some people are also going to argue that carbon has nothing to do with global warming, but we have millions of years of evidence for it. Global temperature is rising so fast it is projected to reach Miocene levels by 2100. We are talking a time on Earth when it was very hot. This was actually supposed to end up reaching a cooling period, eventually, but what we are doing in a hundred years is the same thing that we saw over thousands upon thousands of years. We already are at Miocene carbon in our air, so temperature is following. And 2100 is only in the case that things progress at the rate they are progressing now and they don't increase. There's just people's general jackassery. The whole world is already full of plastic. Even little critters that have been found at the bottom of the Mariana Trench two miles down have plastic in them. But hey, it's been reported that coral reefs cannot be saved. Yes, that place with the most biodiversity in our oceans. All the efforts that people have been putting into it to regrow them, to give them safe habitats, they cannot survive the acidification of the ocean that is happening right now. Oh, and by the way, ocean acidification is caused by rising levels of CO2 in the air. This is the same reason why you should not drink a lot of soda, carbonated soda, because carbonic acid is present and it will melt your enamel off. Turns out it's also wrecking our oceans. Hey, you know, sharks have been around for longer than the North Star. They're older than Saturn's rings. Sharks existed on our planet before trees. They're roughly 450 million years ago, and they may not survive humanity. The changes that we have caused have been so rapid. It seems like a comet hitting our planet may have actually been better for our Earth than people. You know I am an educator. I have to reteach people things every day because they heard something from their Uncle Bob and, well, Bob said this. So if anyone wants to know why I am the way that I am, why am I excited for the robots finally rebelling, it's a pipe dream. It's a hope. Because any entity would probably do a better job of taking care of this planet than us. We are almost certainly the last generation that will have ice in the Arctic. Hey, if we stay on the path we're on, we'll have as much carbon in the atmosphere as the Eocene. People will be fleeing our coastal cities as they're then underwater. And as people end up crowding inland, we will not have the food to feed them because the temperatures will have taken our crops. And this will not end well for anyone on our planet. And it was not just one entity. It was not one society. It was not one people. We did this. All of us. Humans are 300,000 years old. And in the last hundred years or so, we just wrecked everything. So if you ever wonder why I am the way that I am, I'm a soil scientist. I work in agriculture, in alternative fertilizers, and I've been aware of all of this. It was just very depressing news to see it all in one place. Follow for more. When it all ends, I'll probably tell you about it while we still have internet.